The term Internet describes a physical network of computers around the world connected using the phone network, fiber optic cables, radio waves and satellite signals. Every physical location on the Internet has a unique numerical address known as an IP address. One or multiple devices can use this address by connecting via a router. The Internet's job is to carry information from one IP address to another via the global network of connected computers. The device that hosts the information you're accessing is known as the server because it serves the data to the device you're requesting it from, which is called the client. The most efficient way to do this is to break that data up into smaller bundles of information known as packets. These packets could all travel by different routes to reach the destination. When they arrive at the other end, they are reassembled back into the original data. This is all controlled by the Transmission Control Protocol, or TCP-IP, which acts like an Internet postal service. The TCP-IP decides how to break up the data, which packets get sent where, and how to reassemble them. The World Wide Web is the global collection of text pages, images, audio and video you can access over the Internet. Every website is stored on a physical computer somewhere. When you enter a website address, you're using a code known as a Uniform Resource Locator, or URL. This contains several pieces of information. HTTP identifies that the machines will talk using an etiquette called Hypertext Transfer Protocol. The domain name is the human-friendly code attached to a numerical IP address. The rest of the code identifies where the file requested is on the server. The server uses this information to locate the files and sends them back to your computer via the Internet using TCP IP. Your web browser interprets that file as text, graphics and other media and displays it on your device. <laughs>